with this big name player, get you a little Ali Marpet in, and that's what uh, that's what Chris Congimo did here in his uh, in his report and did a great job with it. And he joins us now. Chris, how are you doing today, man? I'm great. How about you? Uh, we're doing just fine. Tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, your age, your background, kind of what you what you, what are you up to in life? Oh, well, right now uh, I'm 21 years old, and right now I'm just kind of working at a, a local farmers market. And uh, I saw this uh, competition online that you posted on your Twitter, and I thought, hey, that's something I'm really down to do. And I, so I just kind of went with it and sent in my report. Cool. So give me a little bit about your football background. Did you play in high school? Uh, have you been just a devoted fan? Uh, where is the love affair with football? Where does that come in? Yeah, I, I started in fifth grade, and from there I just kind of pretty much fell in love with football, and I've been playing. I stopped in uh, – Freshman year in high school is when I stopped, which I kind of wish I didn't, but I realized that my size wasn't going to take me anywhere, so I kind of turned towards more of the evaluation point and the scouting and wanting to get into that, and that's kind of where I'm at now. Well, you did a, you did a great job on your report here, Chris. Uh, tell us why you decided to do Ali Marpet here, not the obvious choice. Right. Uh, I felt he would have been more of a unique report and kind of something that you guys wouldn't have seen a lot of because I felt a lot of people might have sent in like a lot of Der- Derek Carrs, Ezekiel Elliott, Dak Prescott. So I kind of wanted to stand out and do someone who wasn't like on the main radar for most people. Yeah, it's, it's definitely uncommon for a guy to um, pick an offensive lineman, but you mm-hmm. really did a good job of talking about an offensive lineman. So when you're looking at a player, what are some of the traits or things that you're looking for when you're scouting? Well, I think athletic ability is a big one in the NFL. Uh, some uh, mental processing and awareness, I think that's another one that's kind of a big, especially for a lineman. You have to be able to read and recognize different stunts and twists that are coming at you. Well, you did a, you did a really good job. One part of your report here, I want to pull this up here, um, that I highlighted when I was going through it. And uh, Bucky, I know this this caught your attention when we talked about it as well. Here, just talked about the guy Marpet having a good anchor, digs his heels into the ground, stays balanced with good base and technique, not allowing himself to get pushed uh, into the quarterback. So we always talk about making a good visual. You want to be able to close your eyes and see the player. I thought you did a very nice job uh, of describing uh, what you saw there. Nice work, Chris. Yeah, thank you. No, it, it, it was actually excellent. It's one of those things that when you're in meetings and you're presenting your case to the general manager or the head coach, being able to vividly describe what this player is at this point and what he could be is very, very important. But what's important to me for you is why do you want to be a scout? Why is it important for you to be able to work with the team and evaluate and help them build a championship contender? Yeah, that's it. I want to be able to be part of a team. And I like, you know, I kind of miss that part of the football not being a part of the team and winning championships, and that's something that I really look forward to doing. Well, as we get to the to the final five here, Chris, you, you got to try and separate yourself from the pack now. We've got five guys in. Only the top two are going to be the winners here. So what do you think that uh, that may differentiate yourself from the rest of the candidates here? All right. I think uh, my passion for football is something that will really separate me and really can come out in my reports when I uh, write them and – just the love I have for the game and how much I want to be a scout. And this is something I really look forward to doing for the rest of my life. And I think that's going to show up when I write my reports. That's a good answer. There's a last question I've got for you, maybe the most important question of all. And that's um, in a couple years, uh, North Carolina and Appalachian State <laughs> play a three-game series here. Okay, Chris? I need to know who wins. who's going to win the two out of three. Who's going to win that series, App State or North Carolina? Um. You shouldn't, have to, think, you shouldn't uh, have to think this North long. North Carolina on that Oh, one. Chris, well, come he on. He knows. He knows. Come on, man. <laughs> All right. Hey, in spite of that that answer at the end, it, you did a great job. It's it's great uh, talking to you. we got to give you the update now on what's next. So you're in the final mm-hmm. five. Going forward now. Uh, you got to pick your player in Ali Marpet. Now we're going to assign all five of you guys the same player. So the player is going to be Eric Weddle. Okay, I don't know if you have NFL Game Pass yet, but we're going to give you offline a, a subscription through July 31st. So mm-hmm. go to NFL.com, get on Game Pass. You can watch the All-22. We need you to watch three games on Eric Weddle, write up a report, and the do, the do 